Uh, we do have the warmth out there today, okay. but if you're itching for the cooler temperatures, it's not too far away, and it looks like those cooler numbers are going to be with us pretty much all week long. So the nice. good news for you, if you're uh, excited for the fall weather to return, it's just around the corner. Hey, today, though, we're off to a mild, windy start out there. You can see the flags moving quite a bit already in Fort Worth. We continue to deal with some added cloud cover as we're starting the day. We'll start to see more sunshine, though, as we get towards this afternoon. But the winds, that's really the big story for us with them coming in out of the south. Sustained winds between 15 and 25 miles per hour, but these are the gusts, and you can see the gusts are already up there, up and over 30 miles per hour in a lot of spots. McKinney, DFW at 33, Waxahachie at 30 mile per hour wind gusts. So it's a, a gusty day out there for sure. So you'll have to hang on to your hats as you are heading out and about. Temperatures this morning are on the milder side, currently sitting in the upper 60s, low 70s area wide. So if you are going to head out for today, maybe to the last day of the State Fair of Texas, we do have some sunshine out there, but it's going to be windy. It's going to be warm and our high temperatures today climbing into the upper 80s. This is almost 10 degrees above where we typically find our temperatures this time in the year. 88 today for us in Dallas, 87 in Fort Worth. We do have some spots close to 90 degrees off to our west, so it's going to be uh, that warm weather scenario for us across the board, but cooler air is coming and it's coming because of a cold front that's going to be pushing its way into the area tomorrow. It does spread in the potential for some strong, perhaps even severe weather. I think the primary threat zone going to be where you see the yellow here from Texarkana down towards Houston, Austin, San Antonio, Waco included in that as well. Here locally, most of us in that marginal risk, that's a level one threat, but you'll notice some areas off to our south and to our east are included in that level two slight risk. So uh, Canton back towards Terrell, Hillsboro included in that. So something we'll have to be mindful and watch closely as we get towards your Monday, especially Monday afternoon, Monday evening. Here's what it looks like as we start the day. We do have some showers around by 5 a.m. So could make for a slick morning commute, but we'll start to watch those thunderstorms develop off towards our west through the mid morning and into the lunchtime hour. That activity going to be pushing its way closer to the Metroplex. You'll notice through the afternoon those storms going to be pushing their way through heavy rain and certainly gusty winds. The primary concern, but isolated hail and a tornado can't be completely ruled out. But again, I think that threat mostly going to be south and east of the Metroplex. So something we'll have to watch out for. Rain totals going to be bringing in some decent amounts here, especially for areas north.